What's going yeah. on, everybody? Happy Tuesday, yeah. everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, Malik, Welcome to the most ridiculous show on the internet, Tips and Tricks. I'm going to call you out on that, that Malik didn't realize we were starting. I that really was did not. Coming in hot. Genuine fear and terror is what <laughs> I f- experience every week, heightened by not knowing. Well, you normally do your jumping jacks before we start, and you didn't get to do that today. I didn't get to do that, and we also don't have earpieces in. Oh. So there was no countdown. Got it. Mm-hmm, good call mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. Good. So the excuses. We got plenty of excuses. I have excuses for days. Yeah, nice. We got a lot right. to talk about today. That's true. But I'm Malik Prince. I'm Ethan Rothamel. And this is the show that helps you get the most out of your gaming experience, no matter whether you're on Nintendo, Sony, Xbox, mobile. Dial it back, Malik. That's right. We'll give tips on the latest features and tricks on tackling the newest games. That's right. I'm that's right. Teasing. No matter where you play. This is our 38th episode. We're getting up there. Yeah. I just want to say I love that shirt. Thank uh, you. I may be a bit biased. You helped pick it out. I did help pick it out. Uh, that's a fact. We, we went, went shopping this weekend. At H&M. Yeah. You said H&M, and I was there. <laughs> that's I was all like, I got to yes. say, yeah. H&M and McDonald's. Is, H&M and McDonald's. McDonald's were there. McDonald's. Yeah. We didn't go to McDonald's. I know, but Either I just got to say it on the phone. I get it. I get it. Anyway, great fashion aside. Classy fashion. Uh, let's move on to the news. All yes, right? we got a lot going on. That's right. Uh, new game, Into the Breach, coming out. Ooh. This is from the creators of FTL, which stands for Faster Than Light, not the FTL protocol we use on this site. Mm-hmm. But a very good and very difficult uh, f- uh, space game. Have you played it? I have not. Ooh, it's very tough. Is you it? would hate it. You would hate every minute. I don't like tough games. But here's oh, some, here, here it is. Yeah, here's some footage behind us for you guys. It's like uh, it's it's basically the premise of small small scale battles, are very reminiscent of Advance Wars, which is an Ooh, old uh, Advance Wars. Yeah, yeah, old game for I think it was a like 3DS, right? Um, sure. Sure. But yeah, you can see it. It's it's awesome. Like. Honestly, what that company has done really well in FTL and this game is like it's all strategy. It's very difficult, very unforgiving, and it looks like this is going to be no different. Uh, so, yeah, pretty excited about it, man. The one way to turn me off of a game is saying that it's difficult. I do Why? not like being frustrated. You played Cuphead? Yeah. You didn't beat it, though. Yeah, I didn't beat okay. it. I just take I a nap after I play a game that frustrates me. That's the only way to handle it. What, what situation in life do you not take a nap after? That's a good point. Good point. He's got, a, he's got a point. He didn't answer anyway. the question. <laughs> there's, no, there's no scenario <laughs> yeah, where fine. I do not take a nap, and it's sad. I know. You don't have to tell me. It's All fine. right, let's move on. We have early access game Deep Rock Galactic. It's a four-player co-op mine and fight hero shooter. Nice. Driving on Xbox and Windows 10 and Steam tomorrow, and it features mixer interactivity. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great. It looks really fun, really really kind of goofy, but like, look at the graphics. Ooh, look at the, nice. uh, the art design is really interesting. I, I really like it. Yeah, I saw this for uh, the first time at E3 last year. Yeah. We showed it at the Microsoft, at the Xbox press conference, mm-hmm. and uh, it, was, it definitely caught my eye, and so much so that we're going to be playing it today after the show yes right? exactly yeah so if you guys are looking to check this out we will be playing for an hour after the show today mm-hmm. so, uh, neither of us have played it at all so it's gonna be it's gonna be bad it's gonna be, something. I, <laughs> it is yeah, gonna it's be, gonna be something. fun to watch uh, so if you guys have any interest be sure to check it you know stay tuned after the show to, to watch us do tor- terribly at it but yeah. this again this does come out tomorrow in early access for for Xbox and Windows so exciting, be, so oh exciting. God. Xbox Game Preview is awesome. Yeah. Obviously, it's on Steam Early Access, and the Xbox version is Game Preview, which allows you to play games while they're in development, mm-hmm. so you can give your feedback to the devs, and they can make the game better. It's, it's awesome. It's a great program. Yeah. That's how we have PUBG. It is. That's you know? exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, now, yeah. Uh, oh, it's so pretty. Sorry. So pretty. Move on. Move Let's on. move on to my childhood, Turok and Turok <laughs> 2. This is a game where you fight dinosaurs and more. It's Turok Remastered for yeah. the Xbox One. Um, and yeah, I'm interested to see what this looks like. I How it seen looks, it. yeah. Because the originals came out in like N64? N64 is N64 when N64, I had it, right? yeah. Oh my um, goodness. This was uh, the first, oh my god. This, this game was, was so hard. This is the first M rated game I ever owned. Really? Um, and it was one of those where like my mom said no. And my dad took me later and was like, don't tell your mother. And like and, shoved oh, it in, wow. my, in the bag. Oh, yeah. Some family yeah. descent. Yeah, I love exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> so she had no idea I ever owned it. But it was so super gruesome when it first came out. But like, yeah, to your point, my childhood, like, I can't wait. That's this so is funny. It's going to be awesome, man. My she dad. Knows now. Yeah, she knows now. Sorry, mom. She, yeah, she's watching. She probably found out at some point. Yeah, I can't you're imagine. in big trouble, Mr. <laughs> Ethan Thomas. <laughs> Ethan Thomas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the funny part is, I actually had this game. My dad bought it for me and then he took it away. So it was like he bought the game and then took it away. Really? He, yeah. Why did he take it away? Because it was too gruesome. It was too violent. <laughs> and then so he hid it in a closet in a shoebox, which is like, parents are the worst at hiding things. Yeah, let me just tell most you. Definitely. They think, oh, my kid's never going to find this. Literally, all we have is time as kids, and we'll just go through everything <laughs> yeah. until we find the game. Yeah. Um, but there was a way for you to turn on green blood, which I think. Help. Did, that, did that help, like, ease your parents' pain? Like, well, at least it's green. I, it didn't. It didn't. Okay. But I just figured I'd call that out. Yeah, just I, do you not. remember that cheat code? No, I th- I'm pretty sure it was in the settings. Oh, so you can really? just turn on green blood. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. I was uh, into the gr- r- grotesque red blood, so yeah, I, yeah. I didn't even look for of, that setting. Of course, but um, what a world. What a world where you fight dinosaurs and weird-looking people. Things. Yeah, who would have thought that, like, you know, 
we always we grew up getting so excited for the next games, and now all the kids want to play are all our games from when we were kids what in HD. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I mean, it's it's it is. it's cool that they stay relevant and like you can keep people like understanding of what made us awesome, uh, games great. You know, years ago, you can still show them that. That's right. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. All right. Anyway. What else anyway, are we going to talk about? we got a lot to talk about We today. have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Speaking of revisiting the past, Ooh. it's time for some Back and Pat. Yes, the Xbox Back and Pat program has been killing it lately with all kinds of improvements to games we love from Xbox and Xbox 360. Yes, so for more exciting news, please welcome special guest, Bill Stilwell. Everybody Bill! Know? Bill, yes. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill no, Back and Pat stuff. rules. Oh, you're coming over here. Oh, I went too far. Uh, good good, good to, to meet you. you. Oh, it's good, good to see you. <laughs> It's good to see you. Man, your hands, I, it they, appears they have, might have shrunk a bit since last. Well, yeah. I brought you a gift because uh. one of the titles we brought out today was, Ooh, was Crackdown to crack BC, so I brought you a can, bunch can of I orbs. See this? There we go. Ooh. You see Bill's very tiny hands right there. <laughs> uh, here you are. They've shrunk. They've shrunk since last time you were on the show. Yeah, that's right. Ethan, not yet. Oh, uh, sorry. That's, that's, Ooh, that's, that's the end because I want to eat it with something special. Yeah. So, Bill, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. It's I'm been a good day today. It's been a great day, and you're on the show, which makes it even better. Yeah. Yes, makes okay. my day complete. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's so oh kind. Oh my God. That is so kind. Bill. Wow. So kind. Anyway, uh, Bill, you've been on the show many times. In fact, you are the second most visited guest behind the first who was also on the show today. Yeah. Um, but for those who may have missed all Spoilers. your segments, tell us what you do here at Xbox. So I am a program manager lead for Back and Pat program, along with some other things that maybe in the future Ooh. we'll talk about. What? what? Uh, Tease every single time. God, just teasing things. Time, but not for a while. Oh, and enough, I've been okay. with the Xbox platform team for about five years now. Wow. Uh, Killing the game ever since, huh? <laughs> yeah. what I so what do you have to t- show us today, man? Well, it, so in addition to in addition to Crackdown on BC, yeah. mm-hmm. we added um, four titles, including Crackdown. Mm-hmm. We added Forza Horizon. Um, we added Fable Anniversary mm-hmm. and The Witcher 2. All came out as enhanced Xbox titles. And for those who aren't familiar, yeah. uh, we had originally, originally released seven titles mm-hmm. uh, right around the Xbox One X launch. Yeah. We've, one of the engineers on the team, Eric Haichi, developed something we call the Haichi Method. Where he takes, yeah, we're creative Did he in the name way. It? <laughs> <laughs> I think his parents named it technically. Um, yeah, sure, yeah. Where we take the existing game and using the, in, in our emulator, we actually up level nine x the pixels, so we multiply the the resolution. We get to, f- to up to full 4K. Wow. Uh, and then we look at the performance characteristics and ensure that the game still plays the way it plays in emulated mode. Um, we can also change uh, the level of detail, and it really makes the game pop. And we use the same technology in all the Xbox original games yeah. to have those also have the better resolution, mm-hmm. um, although not always 9x, but in some cases sure. it's different. And then the last bit for Halo 3 is an example. Yeah, oh, Mirror's yeah. Edge were some of the games we did originally. We actually added, uh, we left the 10-bit color registers, which typically get rejected on the 8-bit systems. Mm-hmm. We pass those through, and so you get effectively HDR oh, on those games as well. That's so awesome. in, case, in any case, we released four games today. Mm-hmm. That were now enhanced, but we added a feature to it that I was going to show everybody here. Ooh, <clears throat> all right. So let's pull up this console. We got a so one of the things it. that we get all the time is you know you're doing all these changes, and here we have, uh, as you can see, we got Forza Horizon, and you can see how it looks. There's a lot more detail. There's a lot more, just everything sort of pops. This is in yeah. 4K resolution. But what we have done is we've added this component now, where you can go into Xbox. We've added if you're in an enhanced game, you mm-hmm. will see this in the in the settings. You go into Xbox One settings, it defaults to graphics. This is the game that we've enhanced. But you can put it back in performance mode. And when you do that, it takes away all the enhancements that we've made and lets it run as the original 360 game did. Mm -hmm. Now you have to reboot your system. Sure. um, But it will come back up. And then when you launch the game again, it will remember that setting. And we'll go back into the game. And now it's playing the way it played when it was on the 360. And so Halo did this in a lot of their anniversary editions where they play back and forth. We figured at this point... On, on, and all the games got an update today. All 11 games got an update that mm-hmm. let them switch back and forth between this mode. And if we release any more enhanced games in the future, they'll also include this. Mm-hmm. You'll always be able to get back to how the game was originally, it. play it with whatever power performance you can get out of the Xbox One or the Xbox One X. Mm-hmm. And then if you decide to go back to the enhanced versions, you can just go back into the settings. So what were some of the, uh, what was the reasoning behind allowing that choice? I mean, it seems obvious, but what were some of the considerations? You know, some of it is just... Uh, the primary consideration for us is, is user choice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's there's a lot of work that went into these games. Some people just prefer the classic feel of them. Sure. Um, you know, we don't really want people, and you can see already, like yeah, you can notice a big the difference. difference. Yeah. I'm not sure difference. why you'd turn it off because it looks sure it looks, it looks so nice. not as so good. Before, yeah, we'll I just say. I'd say it's um, a bit of nostalgia, right? Probably. Yeah, sure. and that, that, that's primary the, the, the reason behind it. Um, 
But it really is just about giving the users choice and letting them pick whatever they want to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, noticeable difference. Yeah, especially when you like look at the crowd. Uh, you, it's funny, we were noticing when we wow. tried this earlier, you couldn't actually read like the, yeah. the spinometers and exactly. stuff in the original game, and then when we switched over, it, it looks it's way more sharp. Yeah, yeah, that's, way more sharp. that's amazing, man. I always talk about these festivals being very dangerous events. Look how close the people are to the oh, Especially cars. like me, just like yeah. driving. Uh, Fortunately, then, well, that, that, yeah. that cloth wall stopped yeah, that me from getting through. Very, very it's that powerful. adamantium. I don't know how they keep that up. <laughs> it must be bolted to the ground in some fashion. Uh, <laughs> they did unfazed. more damage to your car. That's right. <laughs> So that's why they're so confident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. So they have their arms over, like, what's up, man? Got it. Now, um, Bill, so we, we've talked about Back and Pat ever since you started coming on the show. Um, and a lot of people are asking, and we always like to ask this question, what's the, what's the decision making and, and which games go Back and Pat and which games don't? So uh, early on in the program, when we first started it, it was much more about the technical ability for us to deliver it. And yeah. I think we, for those who read the articles, we did a series of articles right around the holidays where we talked about the program and how it, it got evolved. And you know, when we, very, when we first started the program, we got Castle Crashes was the very first game we mm -hmm. had running. Yeah. Um, and then we realized that there were some technical issues with the way we had implemented the program. And some of the other games weren't going to work. Mm. And so we've been going through, and, and we're always updating the emulator. We're now at a point where they all work. We don't really have a problem with games in terms of performance. Mm -hmm. Now we are really into this phase of the program where we just need publishers and we need that willingness to, to either work through the license issues or to determine in some cases like we can't make these things work. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. And the licenses yeah. just aren't going to happen. And so it really is just a process of working with all our publishing partners and uh, getting to a point where they're giving us the green light to, to yeah. launch the games. That's pretty awesome, man. Pretty, it, pretty, pretty easy to deal with thus far, like working with those guys? You know, it's, it's easy in the sense that We've crossed this threshold now where all the publishers understand the value of the program. They understand the nostalgia appeal. They understand that these games, uh, playing old games doesn't hurt new games. And like a right. lot of that's mm -hmm. all been sort of worked through. Um, it's still tough to track some of these licenses down. Sure, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, this IP, especially with the older games, has changed hands so many times. Yeah, a lot of deve that, developers that. and publishers are, are not around yeah. anymore. And, and, so and they've not, they, the, the publisher's gone into business, and somebody else has bought the rights to part of the games, but they haven't bought the music rights, uh, or the licenses yeah. have expired. It's just and it's just a lot, of, a lot of investigations, a lot of work. Mm. But the team's got to, uh, I think, I'm looking forward to the rest of this year. We started January out strong, yeah. and I think we've got a good lineup coming out. Nice. The rest of the year. Well, hopefully, That's exciting. A, it's very exciting, and yeah. hopefully a follow-up, actually, uh, Ed, oh, who can't see, would like Sneak King, so I just want to Sneak King from 360. Oh, so yeah. I, I understand. You so had to plug it, yeah. yeah. I get it. I mean, I'm with you there. It yeah. was a good series of games. It was. Was it good? It was a good summer. It was a good summer. Yeah, how dare you? How I'm, dare oh, you? I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know we had Burger King fans in here. I went to Burger King every day that summer. It's probably because yeah. Burger King. If it yeah. was like a different franchise, he'd be all over mm. it. Oh, Is that yeah. a segue? Yeah, I, mean, I think that is a segue. That's a very nice segue. So one day I walk into my office, and I just see... Our Bill walks in and he hands me this Big Mac sauce, which I don't know if you can see this. I don't. The camera's not going to zoom. Yeah, probably not. Hold it in the middle. Um, there you go. There it's you go. Fine. I was waiting for tabs. Wake up, tabs. <laughs> <laughs> the Wake up, tabs. Says, <laughs> there he is. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Big Mac uh, sauce, which is not available in the U.S., which is odd because I feel like we are we very much enjoy unhealthy things. Those but Canadians, we yeah. Do. We do. Um, but it's available in Canada, so you were kind enough to gift me with this, and I have cherished it so, so much so to not mm. open it until this very moment. Oh. Uh, let's break it out. Um, so we have some, some snacks, and I figured, we're always about moments when you come here, Bill. Last time we had 10-year-old soda. Yeah. This time we have... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know. We're still I alive. I remember so that stomach that's ache. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that one was the worst one. Um, so we have a few snacks, so I figured we'd eat some, and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, add a little bit of extra... Sauce to mine. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get away for this. This is disgusting. No. Like a dab? I'm yeah, not gonna, it's like a dab. Yeah, like a little. Right, here you go. Can you, can you guys see? Can you zoom in? No, no, no. The cap is blocking the camera. Oh, the cap is. Oh, <laughs> Ed's always worried about the camera view, and that's a fair point to be honest. Yeah, I'm a television producer. All right, here we go. Um, Ethan couldn't be bothered. Here you no, go. Are you ready? Not okay. Do Cheers. It. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that, man. Would you like some Big Mac sauce? You know what? Why not? Oh, okay, bold. Man, Bill is, Bill is pretty bold here. I'll make sure not to get it on your very tiny hands. There we go. All right, um, cheers to everyone in the audience. Cheers, cheers to Bill for your hard work and the team's hard work on Back and Pat. And These are petite. sour candies. This will be delicious. Mm. Oh, mm. It sure is. It sure, it sure is. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bill, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. You are amazing. Uh, don't forget, just come back. Oh, there you go. Ed is laughing. Everyone is, just calm down. It's good. It's, you know, it takes a while, but it's fine. Anyway, everyone, give it up for Bill Stillwell. Thanks, everybody. 
Thank Owen. He left the oh. he left the can. Can we have this, Bill? Oh, oh give me so some kind. Of that. So kind. Oh my God. So Bill gave me a little. Ethan. And then Ethan's back. Um, don't know what's happening. It here. didn't work. I, there it goes. Would you like? Would we'll, you like it, we'll eat it later. Would you like? Here, try catching one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here, right, hold on. Hold on. Let me get okay. this ready. Hold on. All right, here we go. Oh my God. What happened there? <laughs> oh. It's not gonna work. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry. I'll get that later. Um. What is what, what is this? Ethan? This is a gift from Bill. Don't I look pretty cute? You look great. You look Thank great. You. Um, anyway. We're, we're at home tonight. <laughs> yeah. Walk in. <laughs> Ladies. Well, it's my wife. It's not like multiple. You're going to get <laughs> slashed. Honey, <laughs> Honey, I'm home. She's going to slash you. Hey. She's yeah. Terrified. Big anyway, um, you know who who is cute, though, Ethan? Ooh. The main character from Faye. So here are five tips for this in adorable indie title. Check it out. <laughs> Do you love adventure? Adorable animals that sing? Saving nature from terrible creatures that are trying to destroy it? If you're looking for a dark and dreamy fairy tale-esque adventure, look no further. Fae is a gorgeous and rather unique 3D platformer that focuses on exploration. The creativity, art, and sound design alone are reasons enough to play. The mechanics are yet another. You play as an adorable little fox-like character. Armed with just your voice, it's up to you to defend this force and the life within it. Who are you defending the force from? Mysterious, shadowed robots who seek to steal the life from within. They're known as the Silent Ones, and they don't care for you one bit. The dreamy mystery and magic will bewitch you from the start, so here are five tips to help you find your way in Fae. Tip number one, let the game lead. During the first hour or so of the game, it may seem like you're not doing things quite right. You might feel confused or even a bit lost, but don't worry, that's kind of the point. Remember, this is an adventure and you've got to uncover the story as you make your way through. Trust us, it will all become clearer as you spend more time exploring the world and singing to it. And don't worry about the order in which you come across things. The game does a great job leading you if you let it. But if you find yourself in need of some guidance, just follow the lights. Since this game doesn't give you many words to work with, it's not gonna tell you where to go, but it will show you. Pull up your map and you'll find lights that mark the location of your current goal. It's pretty basic, but it will still give you a better idea of where to go. You'll also occasionally find rocks with messages waiting to be decoded. If you sing in front of these stones, it will uncover shimmering drawings. These can help you understand more of what you need to do in that area of the forest. If that's still not enough to help you figure out what to do, you can always call the birds. You can do this by singing at the top of your lungs or basically pressing and holding the trigger button down as far as you can. Once your bird buddy arrives, sing to it again and they will flutter off in the direction you should head next. Tip number four, voice equals power. We mentioned the game mechanics were reason enough to check this game out. That's because it's a pressure sensitive game, meaning you can control how loudly you sing to your forest friends. In order to befriend and bond with the creatures here, you'll need to sing to them in just the right tone. Once befriended, they can help you traverse the world better. When it comes to the bigger versions of the animals, you'll need to do a little extra to get on their good side. But once you do, they'll teach you the song of their kin. When you use this new song, you'll be able to interact with new pieces of the forest, allowing you to explore new sections of the map. As you explore, be sure to collect the pink crystals. As you reach different tiers, it will unlock additional abilities like climbing trees or gliding. These abilities make exploring far easier and a lot more fun, so it's important to gather as many as you can get your paws on. Tip number five, rock that block. Another thing you'll want to be on the lookout for are the stone blocks with the cores in the center. These weird robo heads will shake when you sing near them. If you sing loud and long enough, it will rock the block so hard that the core will come loose. These cores hold crucial story elements. Pick them up to glance into the past through the eyes of the silent ones. Fae is a poetic and powerful game that tells a beautiful story without the use of words. The music is captivating yet calming, and the colors, shapes, and sounds are soothing to the senses. Every aspect of the game blends perfectly together to create a whimsical and refreshing experience that will call to your sense of wonder. 
The developers say that Fey is a narrative about our relationship with nature, the land, and its beings. A story to remind us that everything in the world is connected, living in a delicate balance that is constantly under threat. It's up to you to break the silence, stop the silent ones, make new friends, and heal the forest with your song. Great job, as always, on that VO. Yes, uh, what, what, what was one of the tips that I said? All right, called out, <laughs> called out. <laughs> okay, so you don't uh, pay attention. Crap. That's what you get, Ethan, for trying <laughs> to, anyway. Uh, this I was episode, just trying to be a good friend. I, you know, I, I do appreciate it, Never so I, I do yet. apologize for calling you out like that. It's fine. Just kidding. This episode of Tips and Tricks, we, uh, we've been presented with not one, but two amazing guests. Please welcome a very special guest, Scott Weber. All right. Scott. Wow. Scott. I'm, I'm still again. very special after all these times. I feel like yeah, such a special boy. <laughs> you are you are special, Scott. Well, you said so. So yeah. clearly I am. Yeah, that's you, fact. That's that is fact. Yeah. I alluded to this earlier, but you've been on the show more than anybody else. Wow, that, that yeah. seems wrong, but okay. It's, it's yeah. 38 correct. episodes. Well, all 38, huh? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just reruns? Yeah. The <laughs> just reruns. People know a lot about hard drives. Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. Hard drives, yeah. uh, battery, rechargeable batteries, headsets. All the categories. How you been? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Dressing, dressing well, as always. Got sure. your retro got, gaming shirt. Got to see that yeah. t-shirt. Uh, you want to yeah. show off the t-shirt? Last time you had an NBA Jam shirt. A little shirt uh, Griffey right Ooh, there. Nice. Some uh, Seattle. Nice. Whichever one of the ones you want. Sure, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, Scott, what are you showing us today? We're going to do fight sticks today. So, um, I'm on the Design for Xbox program, so we like to work with third parties to do licensed accessories that Microsoft maybe doesn't do in those categories, okay. right? So, we work <clears> with Razer. And with Hori, and then later with uh, with PDP to do some stuff for the fighting enthusiasts out here. And what we have today are two pretty hardcore, big time yeah. fight stick rigs, shall Ooh. we say? They're pretty beefy. They yeah. are beefy. They're large. All right, so let's start with uh, let's start with this one. This one is uh, yeah. I like this one. Yeah, this is. Uh, this why is, do you like it? Yeah, <laughs> so, so tell us why do you like this one? Maybe I'll, I'll get this towards the camera right here. Yeah. This is a Tekken Seven edition from Hori. This is the Real Arcade Pro. Mm -hmm. This thing is is actually really awesome. Very uh, serious gaming rig, <laughs> as I alluded to. Lots of cool stuff about this one. First of all, it has an audio jack right there. You Ooh. plug your headphones right into okay. the front nice. of it, okay. which is a cool thing that they added. Yeah. Also, a little secret uh, hidden menu <gasps> button here. I love secrets. Whoa. Right like that. Huh? Nice. Right. Just to make sure you don't uh, accidentally hit that while you're, while you're fighting. While you're fighting. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sub Zero versus Raiden or uh, whoever. Good. I was and like, are you going to pull a second game? name? <laughs> Not Johnny Cage. No one was Johnny Cage. <laughs> I thought you were going to name people from two different games. No, I don't know anyone from Tekken. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, Yoshimitsu. Good call. Tenkaichi? Is that? Tenkaichi was a Dragon Ball Z fighting game. But yeah. yeah. Good. That was a good pull, kind Ooh. of. Okay. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Uh, gotta get out of here. Let's see what else is cool about this. So, this actually works on both Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Nice. And there's a switch, so you can just flip between the two modes right oh, there. Wow. So, if you've got a fight stick that's broken down and you still want to play some of your classic 360 games, uh, boom, you can plug this into your 360 and it'll work, work just fine. Um, it'll work on your PC too. So, really, will it you work just... with backwards compat games? Yeah, it definitely will. Nice. So, what, what mode does it have to be in for back compat games? Whatever Xbox One mode. Okay. I'm assuming. Nice. Will it work on my TI 83? Mm. Well, only if you're playing race or drug wars. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot later. <laughs> Those are deep cuts point. there. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Have we not learned Master of the Deep Cut? <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, other things that are really cool about this a little compartment right here where Another when you're done playing, you just bundle your your, uh, your cord right back nice. in and it plugs in via USB. Nice. So yeah, this thing's great. It's the, you can see that the here the Xbox button's recessed because if you're playing and you sure. accidentally hit that, uh, you're disqualified in a tournament. Fun fact. Oh, and really? Is that uh, true? Yeah. That's so it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's, you're out. Wow. So they kind of sunk it down so when you're spamming to the left, you won't you're accidentally smack it. hit it. Unless you're terrible, which is very possible when you two play. Yeah, you're He's about right. to He's right. Yeah. It's not it's not a dick. So that's, that's yeah. the Hori. <laughs> okay. Tekken seven. And now um Oh, I do like that like when the cord is out, you have a little compartment for like maybe yeah. maybe like a fruit roll up or a sure. hot pocket. Whatever yes. you want. Save but this one has a bigger compartment. Maybe some uh, like mayonnaise sour candy treats. Ooh. Yeah. As if, as if it you was, just said. Stuff it was, a bag in here. Yeah, exactly. Initially it was bad, but then as the Okay. Yeah, it was not good. Well it sounds like they came from an equally reputable source pulling them out of the <laughs> out of the back of, a, of an arcade stick. So uh, this other one here. Oh, yeah, and this one's $179.99. So these okay. these are like, this is serious. You can yeah. actually, you feel the grip on this too? Like, if you're banging yeah. on that, you're not going to move it it's on. It's not going to move it. Yank it. 
Yank it. Yeah, it's got to work. You got to work out a bit more. This one's also go. got a very significant grip on it. This is the Razor Atrox, and this thing Ooh. is one ninety nine ninety nine, and this is like a really hardcore tournament grade one. So yeah. remember what I said there about uh, not wanting to hit this button accidentally? They actually have a lock right there. Now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. Oh, so oh, won't that's even go off. this oh, nice. won't even go off while you're playing. So that's smart. That's that's a really cool thing. Yeah. Um, this has the Sanwa buttons, which are like very uh, you know. Highly acclaimed for fighting enthusiasts, Ooh. virtual <clears throat> fighting, Virtua Fighter, yeah, Jeffrey Ooh. enthusiast, deep cut number there two. Go. Wow, there go. he's on fire. Let me show you what happens inside right here, <laughs> because you might be snacks. wondering where is all the stuff? What? Well, it's in here. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty cool. Isn't that not pretty cool? <clears throat> that'll fit a 20-piece nugget. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that'll definitely, that's a lot of mayonnaise candies in yeah, there yeah. for sure. That's a lot, yep. For sure. Yeah. Gosh, Sorry, mayonnaise, nice. ketchup, and pickles, and secret sauce, all or whatever. The, all the condiments. Whatever yeah, they yeah. do. Anything I don't want to. I don't want to blow up McDonald's. Yeah. So it's a fight <laughs> yeah. stick and a lunchbox. Exactly. Thing for your tournament. It's needs. perfect yeah. for for Malik. I, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So here's the cord right here. Just sticks in there, and actually, it's got an alternate joystick in here too, so you can mess around oh, with different nice. types. So, I'm gonna snap this down and Ooh. start to put this thing together. Okay. Well, why is that? This actually has like a little screw-in thing, because they're very serious. They do not want you to lose your connection yeah. while yeah. you're gaming at all. What happens, I wonder what that happens in a tournament, if, you're discontrol if your discontroller connects. <laughs> I, I <laughs> think, you, I mean, I, it's pretty, I, you're probably going to lose in a professional setting if yeah. you lose yeah, your, yeah. Imagine. your thing. Get so ripped to shreds. Let me, uh, let me plug this in right here. Magic of Live TV. Seriously, of this is, is. that is some heavy duty stuff. It is heavy duty. In the meantime, you want to grab the uh, controller right there. That's just yeah. the Ooh, Mortal one? Kombat one. No, no, no. The Mortal Kombat one. Oh, yeah. the Mortal Kombat. Ooh. Controller disconnects, forced to take a loss, no negotiation. Wow, hey. there you go. Take an L. <clears throat> there That's you go. crazy. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right, so there's that if you want to get Ooh, that plugged ahead. in and ready to go. In the meantime, if maybe you don't. Uh, want to get so hardcore about it, and you yeah. just want to say, hey, I'd like to play a fighting game with fighting layout, right. you can pick this up from PDP. This is the Mortal Kombat X fight pad. Nice. So it's got the same layout, it's wired, it has the pad instead of instead the, of the, yeah, instead instead of of the joystick if you're more used Some to that kind of like that. classic, you know, exactly. clay fighters or something, exactly. <laughs> something like that sure. you maybe played. <laughs> um, that style before, so it's got a little grip on the back. It's really lightweight, and Ooh. you can really you know how much this pound runs, on much that this thing. For? That one's only about thirty five dollars. Oh, so yeah, nice. so it's a really really affordable option yeah, if you if you want to get into something like that, but you know don't necessarily want to splash down on one of these guys. Feels pretty nice yeah. actually. Yeah, it's got that little grip on the back. Mm -hmm. PDP always making good stuff. Now for, for sure. these for these, wow. uh, you, I can't play Halo with this. Yeah, no, no, you cannot Darn. play Halo with those. Darn. It would be hard to aim. I think that's with true. the lack of another another stick, but yeah. somehow we managed to play Goldeneye that way. So that is true. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I think about that all the time. I think about that a lot. Turok as well, actually. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. I forgot. Yeah, then that, that's N64. actually going to be when you play the remaster. You're going to be able to yeah move that, and to move and aim. That's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Way easier. That right, yeah. that right button. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so should we should we try these out, Malik? You want to try? Yeah, you want. Should we <laughs> no, should we like should we face each other? Is that what's happening in this? Yeah, yeah. We're I both terrible you, enough at I fighting I want to see you guys face okay. off. Okay, I call okay. this one personally. Okay. Why do you Why do you want that one? Yeah. Well, why, it's just he's, yeah. Well, he's on this side anyway. Yeah, uh -huh. sure, okay. sure. All right. There's nothing to do with what that. What player am I? Got out of the way. Uh, watch the uh, game, by the way. It's by your feet. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, I saw you try to you set me up. You can give us commentary. You can give us social commentary. Yeah, I will. Shall cast? Yeah. Stop? Okay. Uh, so how do I use this thing? Let's see. <laughs> so the joystick so moves. The, yeah, okay, left so and right makes you go left and I'm right. I'm playing That's three. A good start. Okay. Time limit 300, 300 seconds. That seems sure. well, okay. got a ride. Hit A. A? Okay. I hit A. Oh, okay. You have to A. Yeah? Uh, I did. Oh, it might other, be still connected to I have to go get the, the other controller. Yeah, oh, the controller. Okay, ask me. If we didn't have another controller attached, this wouldn't be there a problem. There we go. But, you know, <laughs> that's okay. <clears throat> Got it. There's like seven peripherals plugged in. All right. How, how are we feeling? So I'm blue. Uh, how are we feeling? Yeah. About this, mean, yeah, about this map? About oh. the matchup right now is what I'm saying. I'm, um, I'm feeling pretty confident. I've played a little bit of this you game. You play this at your house? Yeah, we played a little okay. bit. But very, I mean, we played two fights. Each? Yeah, it was but not much. Right. I remember this guy okay. being a good good guy. This one. Gohan. This, no, yeah, Yamcha. Yamcha. Yeah. yeah. Weakest character in the show. Uh, but no, he's not so bad in the fighting game. All right. Well, it's gonna be all the much more sweeter when I beat you with him. Oh boy. Okay. There goes competitive Malik coming out. I know. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. I am offended. Oh, no, I am betting on Malik. What? Who's, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> I, I should open chat. All right. Was that Bill? Was that Bill? <laughs> Bill, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. I needed that. And then whoever loses has to wear the head.
Oh. That means a lot of mouth feathers. For the rest of the show, <laughs> that is going to be difficult. Yeah. All right, here we go. Um, so let me, so I think we got it. we've got we got our people. Yep, I'm ready. All right, so we'll just do okay. random. No, don't oh. do, no, no, all right. Don't, don't do random, that's fine. Somebody wants to know. Uh, do you, you un yeah, you beat the game, you, there's like different challenges and stuff too. Like some you can only unlock through like arcade so mode versus. All right, here we go. Are you ready to lose, Ethan? Wow, yeah. Teams. That's, that's my. You play. guys have full teams. Is this like a Royal Rumble thing, or how does this work? Have yeah. So it? yeah, so you can I tag and tag out. It. Yeah, you tag and tag out. It's like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. If Love it. That. Yeah, same yes. format. Okay. Uh, but with Dragon Ball Z, it's very good if you haven't played this game. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. Oof. Here we go. <sighs> oh, let's see it. I don't have my chat up. I was trying to do right. a pose I'll off, but that's fine. Sorry. I don't like that because you only read the negative stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you only <laughs> cut me down. All right, here we go. Play the game. I'm gonna right. slaughter you, dude. Jesus, just saying you're gonna win is enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, who, which one am I? Okay, I'm, I'm Yamcha. You're clearly bud mashing. It's not fair. Well, listen. Right. Yeah, try to This actually that. does already feel better than a controller, though. Take that, I've Ethan. Never used a it's definitely a more before. natural experience. Jeez, Ethan, do you. I feel like I'm getting. Hey, guys, <laughs> um, can we make sure Ethan's anything. controller's plugged in? Will you quit it? <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Ah! I gotta getting get some, owned, get some man. combos in here. There we go. Yes! Wow. <laughs> Give me a second. No! Take that punch. Oh. He go. has a sword that's not fair. Yeah, I know. Whoa! Oof. Oh man, he's got 31 hit. Yes! This is me! The problem right, is I don't remember the combos, like where the buttons are on a fight stick. Not that I know any combos. <laughs> Ouch! Am I a lizard? What am I? You're Frieza. Oh, okay, got it. Hi. So you're kind of a loser. <laughs> oh, it? you got me up in the air. You kicked me. You did. You did great. Buddy. I did the things. You look like a. Uh, this guy looks like Mew. I mean, I'm Mewtwo. Right. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out my controls here. I don't know what I'm pressing, but I think I'm winning. Are you? I don't know. I don't think I've. Oh! It, I don't think I've seen you guys press anything on the right side. That well, that'll switch characters. <laughs> oh, oh okay, see, so go. I've been saving it. It's called tips and tricks, right? My grip. Here. Yeah, your wine, your wine glass grip. <laughs> your wine glass. <laughs> I am. Peace. I'm gonna miss this. I'm classy. That's oh, why. okay. I, I caught it with a little bit. All right. Take Dang that, it. Ethan. Okay. Will you ah. just? Everyone's like, making fun of my grip now. I'm self-conscious about it. You guys not know who I am? It's a lovely Pinot grip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Is it oh. like this? Like, how is he holding it? I don't. I don't know. How do people hold it like this? Is this how Ethan's holding it? Oh, that's good to know. What? What, what is that? Oh my! Wow. Get out of here, baby! I'm pretty sure that's cheating. Tag team Jeez. back again. Look at that. Am I losing? Yeah, that felt good. That felt good. All right, oh. I got one of his characters down. Oh, Goku. That's cheating. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, no, more, no more games, as Eminem would say. Oh, it's over 9,000 at this point. All right. Nice. Come on. You're beating up a girl, man. That ain't cool. She's technically a robot, though, so I get it. <laughs> Don't regret it. It's probably Bill, man. <laughs> <laughs> Captain scrub a dub oh. Get out of here. We're just working up all this like anger of being co-host for, <laughs> for 38 episodes or yes. however many. When, whenever I showed up, I can't remember. I can't <laughs> this is the power of the main age. Showed up in episode nine. No, okay. that's incorrect. He showed up at episode nine. Dish! Wow, okay. Do I have one more person? Yep. Ethan's been cheating because he's been switching characters. Try. <laughs> I try, don't uh, believe that. You want to actually try a real combo? I'll t teach it to you. Oh. I son will. Of, son of a gun. I wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> Oh. It's okay. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. It's fine. You know. You power up. This, this is what this is what comebacks are made. That's made why. Of. For science. The com the combos make a lot more sense uh, on a fight stick. Like when I look at the combos on a controller. Uh -oh. This is nice. Like it's like uh -oh. built. Uh -oh. oh my god. Yes. Comeback kid is in the house. Oh, I wouldn't say that yet. <laughs> what does that mean? He doesn't know how to use that. Not on a fight stick. <laughs> Press them at the same time. <laughs> I just. I didn't do the voiceover for this one. See, you didn't watch my voice. Yeah, exactly. You didn't watch my tip. No, I watched it. And I would have taught you that if you would have pressed those two buttons at the same time, you'd get some health back. Oh, my goodness. Just saying. Just saying. Which one am I? Boom! Oh, I don't know who I am. All right. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, almost knocked me out. Too soon? Oh, you knocked me out of the map. 
Yeah, as you should deserve Ooh. to be. Mm, that was very I got very close at the end, I'll be honest. That felt good. That felt good. <sighs> All right. Hey, good game. Good game. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm, wow. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Don't I'm not doing Get out of here. I was just trying to I make a good that, show. That you have set, I don't know what the rest of the show is going to be like. No, I, I can't work with this man. Uh, um, I'm just that was good games. Oh, no. oh, oh you did. Oh, darn. Yeah, that was deep, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> be a good. Sp at, least, oh. at least for a segment. At least for the first top five. All right. Well, I hope you guys can hear me. That's pretty good. I appreciate what we're going to have to lunch. Mm, I burped in that a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feeling a little foxy, Malik? Uh, I don't like this one. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this one a bit. Nice, it's nice. Fine. I don't it's even fine. know if the check can hear you at this point. Scott, these are awesome. As someone who Pretty sucks cool. at fighting games, they make me fight a little bit less. Or suck a little bit less. Okay, well, more. either one. Yeah. <laughs> either one's fine. <laughs> yeah, nice. Malik, how you feeling? Feeling great. Yeah? Yeah, actually, you know what? I think you're a loser in this one because I feel great. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for coming on. Indisputable. Yeah, yeah. You Scott. can't. You Thanks can't for having me, guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Oh my gosh. Uh, a little we muffled. So much. I'm so I know. Sad this year. I know, Sean. Siku, it's a little muffled. Good luck with that, man. Good luck Ethan, with uh, reading the next teleprompter. I don't know how you're going to do it. Here's the thing. I feel really bad about that handshake. That was not nice of me. To no, do. it's okay. It's okay. Okay. If you say so. Anyway, it's time for our top five list. Yes. I can't believe you can read this right now. This is amazing. All right. So let's first, let's talk about the top five paid games as mm -hmm. we always mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Number five, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Boom. There it is. <clears throat> if you're not sure what this game is, it's Oblivion without magic or uh, dragons. It's like yeah. realistic 1400s living. Uh, who everyone loves to play that. The game that, looks really right? good. Yeah. The game looks really good. It's actually amazing. Yeah, if you haven't touched it, it's everything you do matters. You you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to drink. Every every person you punch or fight or get in an argument, they mm -hmm. remember, and like the the story can un unwind based on your decisions. Really cool game. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. All right, so let's go to number four. It is Call of Duty World War Two. Still making that list, man. I can't even remember how many weeks it's been out now. Um, but they're just killing it. How many weeks it's been out? A yeah. lot of weeks. But yeah, you're right. It is it is killing the game. Um, <laughs> it's, it's Call of Duty. It's first-person shooter um, I game, can't. So. I can't take you seriously at all. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's move on to number three. I love because you were thinking about something, and you like put your finger on the oh, tongue. <laughs> it's just become a part of me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, number three, we got Monster Hunter World. Still Ooh. on the list. Yeah, I another RPG. It. We yeah. talked about it last week, but I think uh, the release date of this game really helped really it, helped it. Um, sustain it because it, like this is not a game that's typically would be a mass success in, in the US and, and other regions yeah. but because of its release date being in January away from all the big games it's, it's able to flourish yeah I totally mm -hmm. agree man I wish we need more releases early in the year I mm -hmm, guess is what mm -hmm, we're trying mm -hmm. to say that's right it, in at number two Fortnite of course the founders that's the, edition, that's the yeah. founders edition so that's the PVE one which right. they were running a sale on, I think, this week or last. Mm -hmm. uh, the new season just started, so definitely check that out. They're adding a bunch of stuff. They're adding a hoverboard to PVE. It's going to be Marty McFly. Are you kidding me? That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty awesome. And the little dragon, is that the new too? Yeah, that's for PV that's for uh, BR. Yeah, yeah okay. so you okay. can fly in on a, on a big dragon. It's crazy. It's very majestic. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> and number one for top paid games, it's none other than, of course, you, you guessed it, PUBG. Yeah, PUBG. It's right there, playing those Battlegrounds. Uh, we played a bit over the weekend. Mm -hmm. We got a chicken got dinner. We got a chicken dinner. We got Ed. Chicken dinner. We got Ed a chicken dinner. dinner. Yes. That was a good go. day. That was a good night. That was a great uh, It was like 2 a.m. we got that chicken yeah. dinner or something crazy. I'm, I'm very happy to have experienced your first chicken dinner. Ed. It's always a good feeling. Yeah. And then uh, we, me and Ed played. You can take the hat off. Yeah. Okay, can I? <laughs> someone had mercy. Someone had mercy on me. Now I'll just spend the rest of the episode getting hair out of your my teeth. face and everything. In your face, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's it's a curse. But hey, you it's look great. Good. Thanks for being a good sport. Good game. Yeah. Play good. that nicely next time. All right. This is not I'm just. So, a, I'm so sorry. This is not I'm just so your sorry. chicken nuggets. All right. Let's move on to top five most played games in a number five. It is the game that keeps on keeping on. Grand Theft Auto Five. It's still on the list. I cannot believe that. That is amazing. Yeah. Um. More I surprising, though. I forgot what to say. I don't know what we're to not, say. Yeah, there's nothing to say about yeah, the game. It's, it's been out for so long, yeah. and people still love it. Yet another game, extremely surprising, staying on this list, NBA 2K18. Also another game we don't know what to say about. Uh, uh, yeah. It's the one, yeah. It involves uh, two, two goals, I mm -hmm. think, and yeah. like five players on a team. You take the basketball, you, you try to get it inside of the hole, mm -hmm. and you do that. There's back a line, front. you stand behind, you make yeah. more points. Yep, yep. yep that's what it, it is. That's Number three, it. it is PUBG, player known battlegrounds. Boom. 
Mm -hmm. Still on that list. God, this uh, has like been the same list. I can't believe it. It's been the it. same list. What I will say is that, you know, it's been a few weeks since the last update from PUBG, mm -hmm. and the team has been really working hard, and they said that the next update is coming soon. Um, so that's huge. Uh, I'm really excited to see what they change next. But I think they're getting closer to a final release for Xbox, mm -hmm. and uh, when it does happen, I think it's going to be a really well-polished game. Yeah, fingers crossed, man. They've done a lot to improve it so far. That's right. Uh, yeah. Number two, you s I said it wouldn't be on the list this week, but oh, it is you. on the list, and it's above PUBG. It yes. is Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege. Now, this is in part by probably the free weekend uh, that was last week. Uh, I guess it's been no, a while now. So yeah. This is just organic. It's been a while. Like people, <laughs> nice. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, that is amazing. So they did run a sale when, when they were doing the free weekend, mm -hmm. and the season three starts for this as well. Or not season three, but the next season starts for this as well. It is going to be awesome. Two new operators, a new game mode that's going to be out for Ooh, four weeks. It's like okay. a zombie mode. Okay. Uh, make a big place. I have not been able to put this game down since I picked it back up on the free weekend. That's good. That's uh, good. It is, it is just a masterpiece. All right. Well, number one for most played game, it is Fortnite, Fortnite. Battle Royale. Yeah. Um, Top of the list since it came out. I don't think we've, anything's beat it yet. It's a great example of a free-to-play mode inside of a game uh, that, you know, when done right, um, both the developers and publisher can actually make profit, and the, the players don't mind paying for it because yeah. it's not, you know, over, overly um, intrusive. No, so, no, it's not. It's just yeah. cosmetic. Exactly. Yeah, just cosmetic or to like, upgrade your battle pass faster, you can, like, pay to get some... Get some Heads yeah. up in that. The game yeah. is a monster on, on Mixer. Yeah. It's uh, it's just insane. People have taken to it. And it's like, a, as we always said, PUBG Lite. So if you're not ready to jump into the hardcoreness that is PUBG, yeah, jump into this game, and it's It's, it's, it's free, too. That's the other big benefit. So you can even see if you like Battle Royale games, because I think this is the beginning of a ton of Battle Royale games. This yes. is the dawn of a new genre. Yeah, we, we saw the car one, Not My Car, being played. Not My Car, yeah. yeah. That's insane. You've seen uh, The Hunt Showdown. That looks amazing. Uh, yeah. That's from the makers uh, of Crisis. Darwin Project. Yeah, Darwin Project's coming out super soon. God. Get ready for Battle Royale Mania. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway, before we get into our last few lists, we want to know from you what you think we should cover next week for our top five list. Few choices, we have best powers in games. Best cheats you'd want IRL. And top video game royals. Ooh, Speaking like royalty? Of, royalty, yeah, nice. like the Burger right, King. Like, <laughs> like Sneak King. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, yeah. yeah. Uh, God, we're going to beat that over the <laughs> ground, aren't we? We are. Mm -hmm. Now, last week, you guys voted on our top five, and you picked the top five powers and weapons in games. And we kind of broke it down because it was like it was a yeah. lot. It, yeah. it became like too big of a, of, of a list, and we were fighting for like half the meeting. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So I think we're boiling it down to just weapons, right? Top five creative weapons. They had to be creative, obviously. So mm. let's, let's see what we have here. Number five, it is the Boogie Bomb from Fortnite. Oh, baby. So this makes you dance? Yeah, it makes you dance until you get shot. So if oh. someone throws a grenade, it hits the ground, a, a disco ball hits up in the air, and everyone gets starts boogieing. That's ridiculous. And you have to shoot them. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's also infuriating when you're in the top five and someone hits you with a freaking boogie bomb. Like, Ooh, it is not... Yeah. That's where I get the angriest at that game. Is that a bit, like... Uh, like, is that a balancing issue? I feel like that's unfair. It's fun. I don't, no, it's fun. Like, the whole game, Fortnite's supposed to be fun, mm. tongue-in-cheek. It's very cartoony. It's not PUBG. It's not realistic okay, in that but sense. But if I was in the but top yes. five and that happened, I wouldn't think that's very no, fun. No, it's infuriating. <laughs> I definitely put the game down and did. I was done for the day. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't blame you. All right, so number four, we have the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't know uh, about this game at all, the new one's coming out this year. Yeah. After how many years, Tab, since Kingdom Hearts 2? Is it 11? 10? I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been yeah. a long time. We had, Longer. We had two weeks. Yeah. Uh, two weeks ago, we had the, uh, I forgot his title, but we had someone from Square Enix on to talk about it, yeah. and I'm super excited. As an Xbox gamer, I never got to play the older Kingdom Hearts. You'll love it, so man. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be it's on good. Xbox. Super it's excited. Good. Yeah. So uh, the Keyblade, just to, get, to give you guys uh, insight of why we picked it, because every every world you go to, you get a different keychain that gives it a different ability mm. or or something that references that Disney movie where you're at. It's, kinda, it's just like a nice touch. No, but it keeps, it keeps the combat interesting from beginning to end of every right. game. It's awesome. Oh, man. I, the more you talk about the game, every time you talk about it, I get more excited about it. Because I love me a good Disney movie. Who? Yeah. I can't believe you love any movies. <sighs> wow. Ouch. Number three, it is the energy sword from Halo. Uh, very OP weapon in Halo, in yeah. the Halo universe. Yeah. Uh, usually it's just, a, yeah, it's just a one hit. But yeah, this energy sword was like kind of one of the first great melee weapons in first person shooters. Yeah. Uh, so I, yeah. It, it earned its, it's earned its place. And in Halo 2, you could butterfly. Does anyone remember butterflying? Where you could like have a rocket launcher out and aim at someone across the map, and if you switch to your sword fast enough, you would lunge at them all the way across. Ooh. It was amazing. I don't remember yes. That. So right. number two, it's Sharkomatic from Saints Row. Saints Row is absolutely ridiculous games. As, game, as you can tell by the, yeah. 
the weapon. So. Yeah, so this would hit the enemies with uh, with uh, fish, and then a shark would come out, regardless of where you are in the map, and eat the person. Just eat it was you. amazing. All right, and the number one for top video game weapon in a game is Odd Jobs Hat from Golden. <laughs> oh. Man, you know, you know who the worst friend was. Whoever picked Odd Job first in Golden. Oh, because it's we like just a have one to say hit? no Odd Job because really? you start off with the hat, and it's a one hit kill. It's the golden gun. I just love the the facial it like. It's the, very realistic. It's very realistic. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, it, it looks like they took a picture from the movie <laughs> yeah, and just like <laughs> and wrapped it, it around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the results are in tabs. What are we going to be covering next week? Uh, best cheats you'd want IRL. Best, best. cheats you'd want IRL. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I, I think of some. Yeah, we'll th we'll think of some. Yeah, we yeah. have a whole meeting about it, so <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. We have a whole fight. <laughs> That's ahead right. Of that. All right, so uh, we're gonna we have our what are we doing next? So the streamer we had a, we, had a, we had an interview. We had a oh, that's interview right. Yesterday, about twenty three and a half hours ago, we interviewed Mixer partner Lucky Shot. So let's yeah. take a look at that interview. All right, it's time for my favorite part of the show, Ethan. Are you ready? I'm always ready, Malik. Okay, this is the part where we use Skype magic to connect with the Mixer partner, and today we are going to be talking to Lucky Shot. Lucky, there welcome, dude. Is. How's it going? What's up, guys? Oh, how's, it, how's it going today? Good to see you, man. It's, it's going great. It's going, it's going good. great. Uh, we're wearing different outfits. That's right. Home. I got camels on my shirt, so yeah, that's that means it's a great day. Is that is you that? Guys, uh, you guys compliment each other, mm -hmm. except I, I would never expect Ethan to wear black. Why? It's just it matches my soul. I don't mm, know what you want. That sounds yeah. like something I would there's, say. There, there's no no trees on that shirt. It's weird. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. That's actually true. I get I get yelled at if they're too loud because the lights reflect off the palm trees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so for people that don't know who you are, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what what, what kind of stream is going on over in your channel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, if you guys don't know me, uh, my name's Lucky Shots. I'm one of the partners, but. Um, I have been on the on the site for about 17 or 18 months now. I'm actually coming up on my one year partner anniversary, which is super cool. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be a big day. Um, I play a lot of a lot of shooters. Yeah. Ton of shooters. I play PUBG, Fortnite, Halo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, everything. All the shooters. Getting into some other games like uh, Shadow of War and Assassin's Creed stuff like that recently. But um, I just can't get away from the Don't shooters, man. Now. I'm stuck uh, on man it. Man after my own heart. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a big shooter fan as well. What if you? What was your favorite shooter? If you could only play one for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, I'm interested. Oh, it'd be Halo. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Do you have a preference on Halo specifically, or just the the franchise? Yeah. Um. So, um. Actually, um. When I when I first started streaming, um. The only thing I ever played was Halo. Yeah. Um. The ten hours a day, five days a week, playing crazy amounts of Halo, and uh, Halo Three is actually what got me into competitive gaming. Uh, now, a little birdie told me that Ethan, this guy right here, denied your initial partnership application. Explain yourself, Ethan. Actually, never mind. Lucky shots. Tell us about it. <laughs> Give him the first yeah. the floor. Jeez. <clears throat> wow. Um. So it it's funny because at, at the time I felt like, man, like there's there's just no there's no way. Like I've got this. Like. I know where people come from who apply and they get denied and it just, it hurts. Sucks. But I think that in my honest opinion, him denying me set me up for success because the day after my application, like uh, cooldown came off, it was 30 days. And the day that my cooldown came off was uh, the next day was when the Xbox app launched. And I streamed all day for like three days in a row, hitting hundreds and hundreds of viewers. And and I had just put in my new partnership application because I did it the day I came off a cooldown. And I was just like, there's no way I'm getting denied again. <laughs> if I get denied again, this guy is out to get me. <laughs> I'm glad you're a partner because that's a terrifying, you know, like to be confronted by that. So thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Malik. Uh, let's talk about some PUBG leaderboards. Are you, uh, what do you play PUBG on, Xbox or PC? Um, so I, I had, uh, 700 hours on PC PUBG wow. and, uh, then we had the cheater problem, yeah. which mm -hmm. I'm sure goes without being said. Yeah. And, uh, so then when it released on Xbox, I went there and I really put a lot of time into it, but recently I've been getting back into PC and it's great now. I played all day today and didn't have a single cheater. Wow. Nice. Kill me once. It was great. It was awesome. And, That's uh, awesome. we're currently top, uh, top. Point like two percent or wow. something on the leaderboard nice. on PC. PC. So that is insane. Dope. Well, oh my god! In that in that same vein, I'm curious. Like, are you pretty psyched for the Darwin Project? Then another another BR game coming out. Yeah, on PC? absolutely. Um, uh, when I when I finished 
Um, on Friday, I was number 145 on that leaderboard. So um, I'm really excited for Darwin oh Project. We had six or seven wins on Friday. Um, I think the game has huge potential, and I, re I really enjoy it. Man, you are a you monster. Gotta, you got to carry us someday because, like, yeah. I'm never going to hit that on the yeah. leaderboard. I'm always down to play, man, always. Yeah. Like, a true test of how good you are is can you carry me to a chicken dinner <laughs> or any <laughs> – that's the true test. You're way too hard on yourself, man. Yeah, I know. What can I say? I mean, there's no, there's no way you, you, could be, you could be crazier than Ethan over here. Uh, I mean, I've watched some of his games, and he's like – sometimes, like, he's – killing it other times he's doing crazy stuff i'm like what like is happening and it just works out i like, mean to be honest i have in i'm inconsistent at its best like i can do so well and then just absolutely suck for weeks on end like that there's no consistency to okay. my game but that's very nice of you to say <laughs> yeah no i I enjoy, I I enjoy watching i enjoy playing it's it's that's great. awesome man. it's a good game really nice. awesome. so i like to think this is a show where a lot of new streamers or people who are thinking about streaming for the first time come to watch so do you have any advice that you'd give to uh people who are looking to jump into streaming yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the the first thing I'd like I'd, I'd like to say, and that I say to people who come into my stream and ask the same thing, is uh, don't expect it to happen overnight. Um, I think that's a big. Uh, I mean, and a lot of people probably say that, but um, I think that's a big part of it. Is a lot of people will be like, okay, I'm gonna stream. I got a mic. I got a camera. I got my favorite game. I got a PC. Let's do this. They go live, and on their first stream, they stream for five six hours, and then they have like two or three people stop by I'm like that's normal man like don't don't beat yourself up about it and the biggest uh tip that i actually tell new streamers is uh and i think a lot of bigger streamers still do this and i and i'm 100 percent against it is i do not watch my numbers while i stream ever it's a, a good, good call point. out man yeah really good call out. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use that when i start streaming yeah that yeah. tactic oh, uh ethan doesn't believe i'm gonna stream. he's not anyway. gonna do it it's fine. All right. All right. Someday. So it's, it's time for the standard tips and tricks question. So I hope you're ready, Lucky Shots, because it's about to get All hot right, in I'm here. Ready. All right. <laughs> if you could invite three video game characters to dinner, any three you can think of, who would they be and why? All right. Well, I mean, we have to have Master Got Chief. Got him. Most at, popular at dinner, answer. Okay. Um, oh, man. That's, that's a tough one. Okay. Um, we got to have uh, Master Chief from the Halo series. We've got to have... Um, Oh, um, Altair, is Ooh, that right? From Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Okay, okay. Ooh, All right. Okay. Like, th th think about the stuff that he's seen. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. He, he's going to have some good stories at Hell dinner. Hell yes. And then uh, I think we got to have we gotta have one funny comical character. Yeah, I'm very trying to think who that would guys. be. Yeah, yeah. You got to break <laughs> the ice a little bit. Oh, wait, wait. No, wait. If I have this opportunity to have anybody at the table... Then I have to have Link, because I got to know what he sounds like. Yeah, yeah, you got to know what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. I got to know what his voice sounds Very like. Nice. I'd be the only one. Nobody else knows. Yeah, so. but he's actually just going to uh, talk in sign language. He's, yeah. never, he's not going to say not a word the entire time. Yeah, joke's on you. Oh my god, yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> Altair would be fantastic. Would just be sound effects. Good list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's actually a really good oh. list, man. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Uh, where and when can people watch your streams? Uh, so I. Actually, right now I'm sitting at about 40 hours a week streaming. Oh, so God. you can find me uh, five to six days a week. I don't stream Thursdays. Um, I'm live all day Friday, all day Saturdays, um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday evenings, and uh, Wednesdays. Usually, generally, just sometime during the day, I'll I'll start in the morning or I'll start in the after, like mid afternoon and stream until like 8 p.m. Uh, Mountain so Time. So really, follow you on Twitter. And then you'll just, you'll tweet out when you go yeah, live. There yeah. you go. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, join the Discord. Nice. All that awesome stuff. Oh. All the cool things. Lucky. It's been a pleasure, thank man. You thank so you so much. Yeah. Always, always, man. It's always good. Uh, thank you guys so much for having me on the show. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll get to do this Heck again. Yeah, Absolutely. Right. Take it easy. See you on Mixer. Uh, what a good interview. So good. Well, wow. what a good interview. <laughs> Very good interview. Shout out to uh, Lucky Ooh, for, for he couldn't be on live, so we, we shot that yeah, yesterday, but I'm glad he had made the time yeah. to come on. We've always wanted to have him on. And he did a great job, and yeah. I think uh, a lot of the things he talked about were, were very good, it's especially not um, looking at your numbers when you're first streaming, because I know that's something that one. I'm going to be really doing when I start streaming. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and also thanks for bringing up the, uh, the whole I denied him partnership. Really appreciate that. But we, yeah, we no problem. On. Of course, of course. Uh, anyway, it's time for the most romantic part of the show show the section where we open our hearts and let the love shine across the mixer it's time for three streams to watch cue the music oh the lights changed 
almost immediately. I know. There's the magic powers. Oh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's get real, guys. Ethan, you know Chat, what? I'm going to let down you. A notch. Let's, get some, let's get some smooth jazz going. All right. We're going to kick things off with Ms. Matta. Ms. Matta touts herself as, ca as a casual streamer. Being a WoW veteran, she has a great love of gaming that goes way back. She also shares a love of art and is studying to become a concept artist for video games. She mainly streams games for the, <clears throat> for the moment, but there may be some art streams in the future, so fingers crossed there. For right now, though, you can adventure through Monster Hunter World with her, among other games, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Head over to Mixer.com slash Ms. Matta, that's M-A-D-D-U-H, and give her a follow to see when she goes live next. Ooh, this username is great. We're moving on to a single giggle. A uh, single giggle, or giggles as she'd like to be called, is a proud Xbox gamer. She loves to experience story-driven video games and has a special place in her heart for shooters. Of course, she's always open to trying new things and will branch out occasionally to try new gaming experience when, experiences when she can. She hopes streaming will allow her to meet new people and make friends. Growing the Giggle Society, love that name, Ooh. one chuckle at a time. There's always room for a new giggler, so head on over to Mixer.com slash a single giggle and give her a follow to see when she goes live next. <laughs> that, that was my single good. giggle. Well, you're yeah. a giggle cream on Xbox. I am, yeah. So very yeah. similar. We yeah. should uh, we should co-stream. <laughs> uh, next up, last but not least, we have Frugal Gamer. Ooh. Frugal is also an Xbox gamer, primarily playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. That's the most recent one, 2017. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's a big fan of the Heroes vs. Villains mode. He does occasionally branch out to other games like PUBG and is really looking forward to streaming some upcoming releases like Sea of Thieves and Far Cry 5. You can join them weekdays from 8 a.m. Central to 3 p.m. Central on Mixer.com slash Frugal Gamer. Mm -hmm. And those were three streams to watch. Very nice. Thank very you. nice. Thank very you. nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's shout so out kind. to the th three streams, one of our favorite segments. It's always yeah, we shout out new streamers in the of community. Of course. Yeah. And show them some love mm -hmm. and things and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, another week, another Mixer Ultimate Gaming Challenge. Ooh, Sorry, no segue yes. there. I apologize. Mix no, you're fine. <laughs> Mixer UGC is a weekly show hosted by Charlie, Rachel, and Benny Central. And each week they take on a new gaming challenge. Yes. Last week, the feisty duo went head to head to complete Resident Evil 7's Jack Jack's birthday mode with S rank without taking any damage. Oh. Very difficult. Let's take a look at some of the highlights now. The mise on set in this room isn't reading well for me immediately. Go, 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 oh, go, go. Oh. go. What was that? S rank on the first level. We're all good. Uh, oh, I have, no, we haven't. Wait. <laughs> oh, no, I. <laughs> Point four go. of a second. Benny, am I. Uh, mm. Yeah! It's unbelievable. Did you see me do it? I'm setting my Go. own personal goal to get back to the room. No! I'm inches! Oh no, I can't. Oh no, and I'm just in the middle. Oh, something in the game hit me and it made me do a jump. Completely enthralled by that game. Yeah. That is super interesting. Absolutely. Um, their reactions are priceless, though, in that priceless, show. Priceless, yeah. yeah. Especially with the accents. Makes oh, it even better. Makes it even better. Makes it even better. Anyway, this week, they're going to be taking on something much less terrifying. Just my new favorite game, PUBG, of course. That is true. Yeah. Now, the show is live every Wednesday at 9 p.m. GMT, or for those stateside, that's 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. That is tomorrow, baby. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Check them out at mixer.com slash mixerugc, and make sure you give them a follow so you never miss a challenge. Boom. Thank you so much for visiting us. Be sure to give us a quick follow. Mm -hmm. We are done with our normal show. That's right. But we got more. We got more. We got way more. But before we tell you what we have, be sure to check out our next episode of Tips and Tricks next and every single Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Mixture.com slash Tips and Tricks. You know. Boom. And don't forget our sister shows this week in eSports every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, and the Mixer Level Up cast every Friday oh, at noon okay. Pacific, there we go. 3 p.m. Eastern. Anyway, yeah. No, that's good. They yeah. plug in the show. You, you produce the show. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I, I help. I help. Good. That's it. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic show. Oh, thanks, Not better Mike. than this one. That's okay. I can t I'll take that. <laughs> it's the best produced show on, on Mixer. Okay. That's what there I you go. Give, your, give your own self credit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa, Tap said. <laughs> All right, guys, but stick around. If you stay right here, we're going to be playing some deep rock. Oh, I can't even say it. It's deep okay. rock galactic on Mixer LFG. Yeah. So if you're in this chat, we'll host over and you'll see it. We're gonna, it's going to take like five minutes. That's maybe. right. So don't touch that remote. Don't. Who uses a remote to navigate you know, their mixer? I don't know. Somebody. I'm sure That's someone okay. out there. If one person does, then That's I've okay. done my job. We'll be back.